Hi guys, I've just got a quick repair on a, on a pair of suit pants. Um, this particular section here, there's supposed to be one here as well and what's happened is that it's pulled away. Now on the inside there I can feel it, there's the back section of it is still in there which is great um, and I tend to keep everything um, that comes in so hopefully I might have another one of these to fix it and replace it. So I'm going to show you how to do that but also if, if you don't have something like this there is another option I'll show you what you can do. So this is my little container that I put all my bits and pieces into. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open this up I'll do it from the bottom. Just need to do one first and another one. Because I can always hand stitch this closed or machine stitch. I don't think that the person's going to really mind. Okay, so in here is a clip. I can find it. Turn that inside out. Here we go. Okay, so there's the clip. Now, if you look at this one, if I just bring that, see if I can turn that inside out to show you. On the back of that clip, it's actually pulled up a little bit as well, so I'll put that, push that down. So it's just got like teeth, right? And those teeth are what support it. So you can see better here. There's your two teeth. And I've just got some pliers. Okay, so this is my little tool kit. Some pliers. out. Straighten that as best as I can. Yes, I do. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to use their one. I'll use this one. So basically that just goes in there like that. So it's a little bit different from that one. So you just push it through the holes in the fabric, like so. Just need to get that in the right position. Okay, this one I've just got to... So you need to have that as straight as possible. Put my hand inside there and I can see where it was which is there and there. You can see the holes from where it was. Pop that in like that. Grab this pop it on the back like that and then I've just got to bring that down and I want to make sure that that sits really flat So that's secured. There it is. And now I can just close that. Now, 
I wanted to give you another option because not everybody has a container with bits and pieces like me. However, what you can do, and these come on um, on sheets. Um, there's all sorts of there's all sorts of different types, but you can purchase them at a haberdashery shop. You know where you can buy your threads and stitch uh, scissors and things like that. So they come in all different types. There's this is what I would call a skirt um, hook, and this is a really big trouser hook. There's another skirt. That one, if I couldn't have done it with that, I would have probably put that one on because that will hook around now. So you've got that one there, that one there, and that one there. So there you go. So that's what he wanted. Okay but this one would probably have worked see so I could have just hand stitched that on like that so you can rescue them by just going and buying some of these and just hand stitching them on and then if this one goes the same thing you can actually purchase looks like that and you can actually just hand stitch that on there hand stitch it on this end and hand stitch it on that end okay so that's fixed what I've got to do now is just close where I opened it and it's done so there you have it you've got all different types that you can purchase including the bar and you can repair something like that quite easily and if all else fails you could take the hooks out and create a buttonhole on the end of the band and then you just have to sew on a button and that's very secure. Happy altering!